Hey everyone, it's Final Round and my name is Jordan and this video will be for Wednesday's slate for the WNBA games. We have three games to choose from, which is almost half the league, so I guess you could call this a, a medium-sized slate. But I'm going to jump right into these picks. You will see images that come up on the screen. Those will be from a data app called Outlier. There will be a link in the description that will give you a seven-day free trial for Outlier. And this first pick is going to be Nafisa Collier over Three and a half assists at minus 135. Uh, she's gone over in four straight games. And she's playing against the Aces, who the Aces, um, they're not in full sync like they were at the end of the, the season last year. And they're actually giving up the third most points to teams overall and the six most assists. So the six most is going to be in the middle of the of the teams but still third most points is still a good matchup and uh, I, I put the points out there because obviously to get an assist uh, your teammate needs to score so middle of the road for assist and they're giving up a decent amount of points and this line seems pretty low for uh, Nafisa and she's been getting it done um, this game is actually projected to be pretty close it's only a five point spread and I know that seems like kind of a big spread but uh, um, most of these aces games are like minus 15 so uh, having a five point spread we're going to potentially get a competitive game here uh, with uh, Minnesota and the aces um, if you guys could please like the video and if you haven't please subscribe to the channel if you have a little bit of extra time could you leave a comment for the algorithm you could just say anything and it helps um, the second pick is going to be Ryan Howard. Um, she's uh, got a 66.7% uh, hit rate uh, for me uh, so far, and uh, she's the best scorer for her team. Um, she's gone over in four out of five games this year. She had one game where she just shot terribly, and uh, she did not go over. But now she's going up against Washington, who would give up the fifth most points to teams, so a uh, little bit uh, worse than right in the middle. And Atlanta themselves, they give up the fourth most points, so I would expect this to be more of an up-and-down game um, just with both teams scoring a lot of points, and this would uh, favor Ryan Howard, who has been scoring well. If you don't want to go with points, um, her three-pointers line is at minus 130 at 2.5 uh, she also has hit that in four out of the last five games um, that's also not a bad play and she's been able to get it done so uh, it's Ryan Howard of Atlanta the third pick can be Asia Wilson over 10 and a half rebounds at minus 112 she's gone over in three out of four games this year the one game she did not go over uh, she hooked so she just uh, was one rebound away uh, she's going up against uh, Minnesota, who give up the fifth most rebounds to teams overall. And she's averaging 13 rebounds a game. Um, if you look at the data and you go back uh, to the last 10 games, she's gone over this in eight out of the last 10. And uh, she was crushing it in the, the finals. Definitely a great rebounder. Good opportunity here for her. Um, expect her to continue to go over this line at 10 and a half rebounds for Asia Wilson. And before I get into this last pick, I want to shout out my partners, Underdog Fantasy, Sleeper, Parlay, Play, and Chalkboard. Use promo code FINDAROUND11 on any of these. I'll match your first deposit. There will be links in the description that will take you straight there with the promo codes. And thank you to anyone who uses those. Uh, this fourth pick is going to be uh, Elena Smith, over 1.5 three-pointers made at minus 110. Uh, she's gone over in four out of five games this season. And... She's been shooting the, the three ball very well, and uh, she just needs two of them to go over this line for minus 110. And she's, it, by the looks of it, has been crushing it. She had one game where she did not go over, it, and that was against uh, Connecticut, who give up the third least three-pointers to teams. And she's going up against the Aces, and the Aces actually give up the most three-pointers made to teams this season. So uh, obviously small sample size for these season rankings, and you know things are going to even out. But right now the Aces, yeah, they're giving up uh, a lot of three-pointers. And uh, Alanda Smith uh, has been <laughs> knocking him down. So one game I did not have any picks for was the uh, Mercury game and the, uh, the New York Liberty game. That has a huge spread on it. I did have Natasha Cloud um, as one of my picks uh, before. She's going to be on a back-to-back -back, um, for her assist. Her assist line is actually bumped up. Um, but still really tough matchup there for her uh, for assist. And then you have the Mercury who aren't that great. Um, 
you, you know, you could have Brianna Stewart uh, score a ton of points, or you know, Sabrina Nescu score a ton of points. It's really a toss up there. I was uh, mainly favoring Stewart's uh, rebounds, but she's just got just barely gone over her rebounds line at nine and a half. Uh, um, she's she's been hitting it, but she's just barely been going over it. Um, so that, that's like a lean, I would say, uh, Brianna Stewart rebounds. And those matchups are still good for her. So uh, um, there's just some, some leans um, if you do want to bet on that game. And if you'd like to discuss lines further, I have a Discord link is in the description. You can hop on in there and a conversation will be going on about WNBA and baseball and hockey or whatever else is going on i know uh, nba got extended one more game and uh i will go over a recap uh of that game and uh the wnba game just because there's not going to be an nba game and it was not a very good day i was doing pretty well for a while you know a bad day is going to come and then the the bad day it it, it hit so uh it I'll, I'll walk through it i always put my recaps at the end because i don't want to burden you with it right at the beginning of a video and I, a lot of people click off anyway um before the nba game i had kyle anderson over five and a half points he he just made one basket he was not taking the amount of shots that he was before he was not getting into the middle of the lane like he was before he did it one time and uh, he was able to make that shot nas reed who did not go over his points for the first time in this series both of these guys went under off the bench um the starters, Carl Anthony Towns finally stepped up. Rudy Gobert finally stepped up. Anthony Edwards finally stepped up, and it, it hurt these bench players. And, and then Luka Doncic, over three and a half three pointers made. Uh, he, he hit that with a, a four point play right at the end. So, um, not a great day for NBA. And then uh, WNBA uh, wasn't great either. Uh, so, Natasha Cloud, over six and a half assists. Um, she ended up with three the team was scoring like 10 points a quarter like they were awful they could not make a basket which did not help her assist at all Erica Hamby uh, did not go over her rebounds uh, she hooked she needed one more for like the last five minutes and wasn't able to get it uh, so that sucked and then Angel Reese um, six and a half rebounds. This will be one that we'll definitely look to go back to. She had six rebounds early. She had 10 rebounds in the first half. Um, I didn't even check to see what she finished with, uh, but 10 rebounds in the first half. Uh, that was sweat free. And, uh, yeah, Angel Reese, when she has that good matchup, would definitely go back to that. And then Cameron Brink is in inconsistent so rookies are going to be inconsistent i know reese is a rookie uh but cameron brink uh, was she just dropped 21 points the other day and uh, 15 points on this same team and she comes out she knocks down a three which a lot of people had over her three pointers made uh she just needed one and she she hit that for people um but then she didn't do anything else she got you know a couple blocks and steals and all that but she really did not do much at all she just disappeared completely so can't trust Cameron Brink until she you know gets more acclimated with the the WNBA um, and I noticed her fantasy score was it's starting to get juice with those blocks and those steals so um, not sure we can go that way um, either until she gets acclimated more acclimated but I uh, do like uh, Angel Reese's uh, rebounds and the way she did rebound uh, in that good matchup so it is late. I did wait for more lines to come out uh, for this video um, because I, I knew that uh, you know people are going to want to see some WNBA plays uh, since there's not going to be any NBA. So I'm going to get this edited and get it out to you. God bless you all. It's the final round. My name is Jordan. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.